It's an event that's pretty hard to describe. <laughs> you really gotta kinda take part of it. You come, we'll even provide guns, we provide dogs, all your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, it's all taken care of. The whole thing started with one of our local legends, Mike Tillman, who played in the NFL for several years. And the college was thinking about reintroducing football here. The community knew they were gonna have to support uh, the football program through fundraising and so forth. So he and some of his friends were out and about one night and started to dream up uh, some ideas of how they could raise money. And lo and behold, before the night was over, him and his buddies on a bar napkin had created the Legends for Lights Pheasant Jamboree. The countryside's beautiful, the birds are beautiful, and you just get to hang out with your friends and buddies and, and just share a good time. We got some of our old local legends, uh, guys like Casey Fitzsimmons from Chester, played for the Detroit Lions for many years. Some of the younger guys from the University of Montana that went on to play football, such as Thatcher Soleil, Dylan McFarland. It's always a constant rotation of guys, but it's anywhere between 20 to 25 legends a year. Every team checks in what they think is their two biggest birds for the day. We measure the tail feather and the spurs, and and there's an award for the biggest bird for the day. There's a plaque, an award for the winning team. So there's some friendly competition going on. You get some teams that they really take it serious and get after it. Like I said, they want to be out there at sun up, but then you get some teams, you know, they just want to go out for the strolls. It's incredible to watch the dogs work a field, to work a spot. When they get on a bird and they just stop and point and, and it is like nothing moves. The dog's not moving, the bird's not moving. You're walking up on it or you're watching someone walk up on it you're waiting for this bird to move and it does not move till the last second. It is just one of the coolest things in the world. On an annual basis, we're able to give the college Oh, somewhere around $130,000, $140,000 a year if we have a good fundraising year that all goes towards scholarships. And we probably be need to be doing much more than that to remain competitive in this environment. And so we're always looking to expand this event and make it bigger and better. Man, this, this event has meant so much over the years. You get out, you get to see the countryside, we all get busy in our lives, and it's just a nice way to sit down and relax. And you can be home, but feel like you're a long ways from home. Thank you.